Hello and welcome back to Warm Up with Rory. Um, thanks very much for tuning in. Um, today we're going to be doing an exercise from the Maggio, um, my favourite. Um, and this one is also um, my uh, the teacher I had at the Royal Academy of Music, Gordon Campbell, amazing, legendary trombone player. Uh, this is his favourite, apparently, um, or it was when he told me, anyway. So this is flexibility um, lesson number seven, page 92. So open your textbooks um, if you've got this. If you don't, you'll soon get the hang of it. Um, it's basically like this. So it's it's arpeggios basically. We start with B flat, as all good exercises should start. Um, we start with the the B flat. Uh, a, a, um, an octave and a tone below middle C, so this one, there, um, and we're going to go down the arpeggio to, to pedal B flat, and then up to B flat, a tone below middle C, and then back down to pedal B flat, up again to the other B flat, and then back down. So it's like down, up, down, up, down, finish. Okay, let's do it. So here's the metronome. I'm gonna put it on 63. Uh, that's a little too fast. Uh, okay, we're gonna start on 56. Metronome mark 56, so, um, when you're doing this practice, you can do that, or a faster tempo, or slower if you wish. But that's that's the one we're going to do today. So, I also do this with cello drums. Um, so, I'm hearing the sound of B flat being played on the cello, which is excellent practice for tuning. Um, as always, cheers, hydration. Is key. One, two, three. Now, what happens is we're going to move up. We're going to move up to B, okay? And we're going to move up through the semitones. B, C, D flat, D. We're going to go all the way as high as we can go, basically. So now to B. One, two, sorry. One, two, three. Breathe E flat. 
Okay, now here's where it gets interesting. So, this thing in the Maggio uh, with the downwards arrow, this means we have to do this. The bottom three notes, um, the pedal B flats. Um, I'm not gonna tongue the first one, but I'm gonna tongue the next two. So. two there and I'll tongue the first note as well so we have to do that first of all and then we move in to the um, the usual pop, 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 pop thing we've just been doing so now we're on E natural here we go metronome back on all this well when the metronomes on okay one two three Okay. Next, we're going to do the same thing with the low B flats and then to F. I've switched the challenge runs off now because um, I just don't want to hear it um, right now. So we go with F. One, two, three. G flat, two, three. So the crucial thing after you do the low B flats is that you take a breath using the old nose. Um, and so we're not going to be breathing. We're not going to be breathing from the mouth. We will still be breathing from this region. Um, more on breathing on a, on a different video. But um, remember the nose breath. And um, let's do it. We're trying to keep the chops in the same place throughout the whole exercise, if possible. Okay, one, two, three. Flat two, breathe. Okay, over the page to ninety six. Number 12 of this flexibility exercise. Okay, here we go. One, two, three.
B flat. You're doing great. Two, breathe. stretch out for those low B's okay now on to C two three to the false start um, but it's all good uh, D one two three You're doing great. If you're still with me, well done. Okay, one, two, three. some of the high notes it's okay um, in another video I'll be talking about the relationship I have with the instrument and um, the kind of dialogue that I think is good um, but ultimately if you don't get a note it's okay it's not the end of the world so E two three Interesting. One, two, three. Fantastic. Now we're moving to G flat. One, 
two, three, and three. to A flat, almost there, we'll, we'll finish at B flat, I think. Okay, A flat, let's see how it goes. One, two, breathe. tuning in uh, to warm up with Rory. I hope you feel well and truly warmed up. Uh, I recommend you do this exercise preceded by warm up C, um, which is in another video. And um, here we've, it's, it's taken me about 20 minutes. Feel free to do it slower. Um, it could take you longer. It could take you less time. Don't worry about the time. It's more what the practice is doing, what's going on, what you're thinking. How you're sounding um, and all that stuff. So check out the other video where I'll be talking about my approach with the chops, um, etc. To doing this exercise, you could also do this exercise um, varying the time. I was doing triplets. Da, 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 da. You could do that. That 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 that. You could do uh, semi quavers, triplets, sixes. You could do three over two. I like to do the three over two one, which I'll do in another video, um, so we can practice it together. And um, in the meantime, I hope you have a great time practicing. Um, so thanks very much. See you, pals.